This NASCAR is not fast enough. It needs to be faster. Oi, I'm Louis Jessup. NASCAR here has got a Jang Dong 168 little tiny displacement motor and a, a crappy clutch. NASCAR is supposed to be fast and haul freaking butt. This one doesn't. Some would say it's kids NASCAR. It very well might be. In this video, we're not going to make it a kids, go, uh, kids NASCAR. We're going to make it fast. We are getting rid of this here Jang Dong Chinese motor and replacing it with a Predator. Another Chinese motor. It's a 212, six and a half horse. That's a five horse. And we're also going to make it just a wee bit spicy here. I've got a, a upgrade kit, header, exhaust, carburetor, you name it. We got it. We're going to make it go. I'm still going to keep the governor on it because I ride this thing full throttle all time. I don't want to blow it up. And plus, it's only a one wheel peel. So we're going to swap this out and put the Predator on. Got a new clutch for it too. And this thing should boogie. If you recall, the previous lap time was 1.18 on this. When we first made the track. And the top speed was only 18 miles an hour. Not very quick. So we'll see what we can get out of it now with this Predator. All right. But step on, we gotta get that turd off. Jang's dong has got to go. And now Jang's dong is liberated. Ah, yep. Tiny little guy. I did find I did find something that I need to address. We got a little hairline crack right here. So we'll have to weld that up. It's no big deal. This is a new chain I put on it. But, uh, I blew out this wheel bearing and the chain broke. Too many, too many right turns. Now, seeing that crack is a good excuse to go up to a to upgrade to a live axle. But we don't have a live axle right now, so I'm, I'm gonna weld it. And if it does crack and again, we're gonna do a back half on this thing and live axle it and center mount the we'll mount the motor where it fits in that window. But for now we'll just do this. Throw a tack on here, beef it up a little bit, and hope she stays. Yes, uh she's pretty she's cracked almost <clears throat> almost all the way around the tubing. We're gonna we're gonna hot glue that back together. I'd say that crack is pretty gooped up now. So let's uh let's hit it with some horsepower. Time to liberate some horsepower. Yeah, safety instructions. Where we're going, we don't need those. Yeah. Yeah. Same height, same size, basically the same motor based off of a Honda. Um, it's all both of them Honda clones. Just that one's a little better. More power. So we're going to take this one. This is a Hemi. We got a dang Hemi head. Oh, 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 oh man. We're going to take this one. Take off the exhaust, air filter, and uh, then we're going to rip it. So I'm going to throw it up on my workbench up there so I can, uh, you know, save the old back. Where we're going, we won't need this. It's robbing horsepower that we greatly need. Aha. So it looks like I have two jets to choose from. And uh, 
I'm gonna pick the bigger one. Bigger, better. We drop the motion tube in. Jet on it. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Oh yeah, that looks like that's gonna breathe better. So uh, this kit didn't come with a vent for the crankcase, so I, you know, I got a, a fuel filter. That'll that'll do. Since we're breathing better, let's liberate this exhaust. Yeah. We can still reuse that gasket, but look how tiny, tiny that exhaust hole is. Where's the? How are we gonna push out the decibels with that? We're not. Link. Reused. Now that is going to move some air. Just like that. Here we are. The new power plant. Check out how buttery smooth that clutch is too. Nice and new. I had to add a washer behind the clutch because there wasn't too much play. And it took a while to file it down to fit the shaft. But... Just one of these. Filed her down. Now she's smooth like butter. We're gonna throw it on. I need to add oil. I need to put the throttle on and hook up the kill switch. So I went ahead and just bolted it on. And let me tell you, this is a beautiful motor. This thing looks great. Now, <clears throat> I've hooked up the throttle and I ran it up higher. So I noticed when the throttle returned, it would hit the actual throttle lever itself. So that's up there, zip tied up a little bit. Wired the kill switch in. I just need to add oil and some fuel. And fuel, I'm just gonna take fuel out of that motor. Put it in here, and we'll run out that for a little bit. Because I ain't got no gas. And for oil, well, first I'm gonna drain this, whatever's in here, because there might be something left. Drain that out, and then put in some fresh stuff. Now, there's only a drop of that breaking oil stuff. But I've got this here AMS all day. All right, I've siphoned the gas out of the Jang Dong, put oil in this thing. We are ready to fire it up. I switch it on. This one is on. The choke, I think that's on. Maybe that's on. We'll figure that out. Gas is on. Let me set that down so it fills up the bowl. Then we'll do the first test fire. On the stand, of course, because that's a, that's a brand new clutch and we don't know how it works. How many pulls? I don't know. I'm gonna say three. Aha, three pulls! I'm going to test the top speed and the gearing on this thing to see how fast it goes and see what kind of lap time we can throw down. Goal is I want to be like 35 miles per hour, but I don't think we're going to get that out with this right now. So using the edge of my field, I will see how fast I can get going.
total lap, uh, lap time. My last lap, lap time was 118. We have Casey the camera, and we're gonna have knock it out. Three, two, one, go! Well, we picked up a lot of time on that. Dang, that's awesome. I still want to play with the gearing and see if we can make it go even faster. But 106 is way better than what we were. This Predator motor absolutely woke this go-kart up. It is wild. Spins the wheel on pavement wild. So, uh, she's pretty good, but it still doesn't have a high top speed. It, it has a lot of torque off the line, no top speed. That sprocket is huge on that rear tire. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off the wheel, measure the sprocket. So we have a 60 tooth on here already and a 10 tooth clutch sprocket giving us the ratio of six to one, which, you know, it's, it's ideal. It's the ideal uh, go-kart gearing, but <clears throat> we aren't really doing ideal stuff here. We are doing more track stuff. Ideal would be kind of like, you know, putting around, stopping, turning around, putting around, putting around, just to have a good acceleration pull. But I need some speed in order to keep up with Casey. So we're going to a 48 tooth. And of course, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that chain and that sprocket so I can swap gear ratios. So I'll have a 62 tooth set up and a 48 tooth set up. And that'll almost give us a five to one. Well, it's 4.8 to one, which it's gonna be fast. So I ordered that, that'll be here in a couple days. I've got to go to work, but when I come back, I will get this thing geared up. We'll do a top speed run and we'll do a hot lap to see the difference. Oh yeah. New parts came in. We're gonna go fast. Let's get this one off. So this right here is just straight away from the last top speed run. We're gonna do the same thing. One, go! out there it's only one thing we can do to make it better that is throw the body on and then an official time lap to see what we can do this thing cooks so in order to get the body to fit better i need to take the exhaust and bend it inwards and slightly up i'm going to heat it up and put a pole on it and see what it does I've got my exhaust bent, and after looking at it, uh, we're running just a tad rich, so I'm gonna change out the jet to the medium size, and then this thing will be good to go, and I can throw her body on, we'll rip it. Got Casey over here, she's gonna time it again. You ready for the camera? Got it. Three, two, one. It's slower? 107.25. What? 
but it goes so much faster. So I fused except a 107. I'm gonna run it again in case it's gonna time me again. Go! What you think? 105. 104. 104. I drove the crap out of this thing. I could Better? Yes. We got rid of 14 seconds of time. Do I look cool at least when I'm going fast? Does it look proper? You went for a little ride, huh? Why you no go fast? Because I can't reach. <laughs> I don't like this. I slide. To get it all the way down, I'm like... Slide. Yeah, the bad thing is when you pull the seat forward, you can't get in and out of it. I, I'm sure, but like... There's like... only one thing left to do. Celebrate.